I'm uh, Bill Sly. I'm a recently retired professor and investigator studying lysosomal diseases since about 1970. And I came into the field through the discovery of MPS7, which has later become known as Sly disease, which is due to a deficiency of beta-glucuronidase. And it's like the other MPS diseases, uh, it results from a deficiency of a single enzyme that leads to accumulation of glycosaminoglycans, or GAGs, in lysosomes, with subsequent organ, cell and organ dysfunction. Principal manifestations are skeletal with short stature, bony disease, mental retardation, cardiac involvement, large liver and large spleen, respiratory involvement, and it typically shortens life. Uh, the, uh, the most severe, severe form of the disease presents with hydrops fetalis, and those children oftentimes die in utero or die in the first couple of years of life. And the kind of patient that we saw originally in 1970, which we now call the milder or intermediate form, they live to be five to 20 years of age and die usually of cardiac disease. Um, one of the big, it was one of the, it was one of the, it was the first mucopolysaccharide who, whose catalytic defect was discovered, the beta-glucuronidase, and so it seemed at the time that might be the most likely candidate for enzyme replacement to develop, but it turned out the patients were very rare and very variable, and so it was a long, long time before uh, conditions were right to develop enzyme therapy for that, and recently, Ultragenics, uh, which is uh, dedicated to rare and ultra-rare diseases, undertook uh, development of an enzyme therapy for, for that disease. We had shown in animals, as, as had others, in both mice models and dog models, that enzyme replacement would work in this disease. And uh, we'd known for a long time, but companies were unwilling to take it on because there's so small number. There's maybe 100 to 200 patients maximal in the world. And uh, so Ultragenics has started. and. Uh, they did the first patient about a year ago, and uh, they just, uh, at this meeting, reported a, a, a trial in, th in the UK where the three patients are under study, and they're going to start treating 12 patients in 2015 in a phase, uh, phase three study.